At least 18 people are dead and 29 injured after a helicopter crash near a kindergarten and residential buildings in the Kiev area. Sinez Claire Sebastian joins me now with some more images we've just had in. Yeah, we've got some images from our producer, Brent Svales, who's on the ground there, and it shows sort of the level of destruction from this helicopter. You can see the mangled wreckage. I don't know if we're able to uh, bring those up there. You see it there. Uh, he's also reporting that you can see... Uh, casualties on the ground covered in gold foil. And we're getting some more information uh, from the deputy head of the presidential administration who just held a press conference there, Max. He said uh, that he can confirm the death of the interior minister, Denis Ministerski, as well as his deputy, first deputy minister, and the state secretary. So three high-ranking mm. members of the interior minister, ministry were on the helicopter. He also said more than 20 people were in the hospital, including children. Several of them are in, t in intensive care. He said there was some damage to this kindergarten close by, and they're working to dismantle a ceiling that collapsed in one section of it. But he says that there were nine people on the helicopter, all of those were killed, and the others were injured uh, and killed were people bringing their children, essentially, to this kindergarten. So they weren't in the school, we don't think, when they were killed, the children. They were killed on their way to school. That is what he's saying. It's unclear as to whether that relates to all of the casualties, uh, but certainly he's saying that, that there were injuries among those. It's just a horrific story, isn't it? But no suggestion at the moment a foul play. And it's early days. They are investigating this. You can see from those images that the weather is pretty bad. Our producer on the ground reported low visibility on his way uh, to the site. And we know as well that there's a fire that broke out uh, around it. You could see that in some of the sort of more high up images that were uh, shot of the area. So it, it looks like there's a lot of destruction, a lot of damage, and they're still trying to determine what exactly happened here. Claire, back with you as you get more. Thank you.